With a little bit over a week to go before Donald Trump's impeachment trial kicks off in the United States Senate, five of his lawyers have left his legal defense team. Now, this departure does appear to be mutual in that Trump and the lawyers came to an agreement that they should not be the ones representing Donald Trump in the upcoming impeachment. So who will actually take that case is now unclear. We had an idea and now we don't really know who they will pick, but they have said they will announce it very soon. Now, this appears to have happened because of a disagreement over which case to actually present as their main defense of Donald Trump. And we'll talk about that in just a second. But first, I'm Nick Riccada of Riccada Law, a small law firm in central Minnesota. I'm a lawyer and a legal, legal and political commentator here on YouTube. If you like that sort of stuff, hit the subscribe button and the little bell so you don't miss any videos, all right? Okay, so this is pretty common. It is very common for a lawyer and a client to have different opinions on how best to proceed in a particular case. And the more wealthy or higher resources that a client has, the more likely it is that they'll just fire you and find some other lawyer to go with it, right? Uh, but if a lawyer and a client ultimately do not agree on the path that they're taking, then maybe it is time to find new counsel. And the reason for this is that lawyers and clients can have different goals. Lawyers can have the goal of getting out of the case as fast as possible with the least amount of damage for a client. Uh, a client, on the other hand, may want a different sort of approach that will emphasize or highlight a particular thing. In this case, there's a big question over which actual defense to present for Donald Trump. On one hand, you have the constitutional argument, namely that this impeachment appears to be completely unconstitutional because they will be having a former president sit for the impeachment of himself as president. But they're not treating it as the impeachment of a president. Uh, it is now reported that John Roberts has declined to go ahead and oversee uh, this impeachment, and that casts quite a bit of doubt. Now, the Republicans actually had a procedural vote in the Senate where 45 Republicans decided that this was an unconstitutional impeachment. And they put those votes down and those votes are public. This makes the impeachment itself very unlikely to actually go through. Now, this isn't an actual vote on the impeachment itself. The trial is still set to happen. And at the end of the trial, when the cases have been presented, the Republicans and the Democrats in the Senate will have to vote. And the only way to officially impeach and convict Donald Trump will be to have a 67 vote majority, which means 17 Republicans would have to switch sides. If you're keeping count of the numbers, that means an additional 12 Republicans would have to change their opinion that this case is constitutional in the first place, and then they would have to subsequently vote to convict Donald Trump along with the original five. This is a big uphill battle for the Democrats, and it seems very, very unlikely to occur, especially because the politicians would have to go against what they said just a mere uh, week and a half before, right? That seems to be a problem. But with that, with that sort of ace in the hole, if the lawyers for Donald Trump want to only present the unconstitutionality of the impeachment as his defense, but Donald Trump has different goals, like maybe calling into question Dominion voting systems, maybe suggesting that the election was improper in various ways, maybe calling out that uh, his words were not particularly incitement at all. So not just a legal defense on the legal question of constitutionality, but a defense on the incitement charge as it stands, as a whole, to say, hey, what I said was perfectly okay. There wasn't any incitement in my speech. That could be a goal of Donald Trump. Now, I think it's probably a combination of these things where he wants a bigger case than the lawyers who he was meeting with were wanting to make. They probably want to make a quick and dirty case that this is unconstitutional. It needs to be thrown out. It should be dismissed and we should get out. If Trump wants more than that, then he's likely going to have to find attorneys who are willing to do that. And with the attorneys who have been defending Donald Trump, such as Sidney Powell, Lynn Wood and others, being attacked and having their law licenses attacked, he may not have as many willing candidates. So we're going to have to see who Trump actually pulls in to manage this impeachment defense. But I will be watching. I will be commenting on the whole thing as it happens. So 
Stay tuned for that. Let me know what you think down below. Drop a comment. Tell me what you think about Trump's legal defenses. Do you think this is a constitutional impeachment? Do you think he should raise the specter of voting irregularities? Should he go after Dominion? I mean, the impeachment is going to give him a global stage, him and his attorneys, a global stage to make the case. If what do you think they're going to do? I would love to know. Until then, we'll talk soon. Peace. Peace.